All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and today I want to talk about something that I find so humorous and that is someone trying to pretend to be an anonymous leaker, an anonymous insider in the games industry and falling flat on their face and looking like a complete and utter joke because their post was so absolutely outrageous that it just kind of makes me chuckle a little bit. So 12 days ago on December 31st, a post was made on Reddit titled Sony and talks to purchase ZeniMax and all owned studios. This is a quote from the post itself. Deal would be finalized by the end of January slash early February. Starfield was canned three months ago, all hands on deck for the Elder Scrolls 6 for a 2022 release date. Fallout remakes next year can give more details soon. And some parts of this I would have actually believed because there have been rumors in the past that Starfield was in development hell. It's likely where they got that part for this post. We've had plenty of talks about Fallout remakes and that they should happen. So that's where they got that part. And then they probably just came up with a random big eye catcher such as Sony acquiring ZeniMax. They probably got that idea from the old rumor that Sony was going to acquire Rockstar. In fact, we've seen time and time again, people saying that Sony is going to acquire this company, that company. It basically never happens. We don't know about it until it's officially announced. Sort of like the Insomniac Games acquisition. And that took quite some time for Sony to acquire Insomniac Games. And I feel like some people just don't understand that Sony acquiring someone like ZeniMax just is not a possibility. You have to actually think about everything that the company has and all of the IPs they own, such as Fallout, the Elder Scrolls, Dishonored, Prey, The Evil Within, Rage, Doom, Wolfenstein, and many others. And I want you to just think about the worth of all of those different IPs alone. I want you to just imagine how much it would cost to acquire the Elder Scrolls IP and the Fallout IP by themselves. I, I genuinely don't think Sony could even acquire those two IPs alone. I don't think there's enough money in the world to acquire those two IPs. So acquiring the entirety of ZeniMax, a company that is not in desperate need of an acquisition, I don't think there's enough money in Sony's pockets to be able to make a move like this. And the question is now, would that really be making a move? Is ZeniMax a company that Sony would even want to acquire? I don't think they would. Not only because of all the bad press that everything revolving around ZeniMax has had, such as Fallout 76, some of their games not performing as well as they thought they would, such as Prey and terrible releases like Wolfenstein Youngblood. I think the bad press alone would deter pretty much anyone from acquiring the entirety of ZeniMax, even if they had the money to do so. But honestly, it's not even the money or the bad press that I think would deter Sony from acquiring all of ZeniMax. I think the biggest supporting factor here is the fact that ZeniMax's games aren't really the kinds of games that Sony puts out nowadays. Sony puts out very, very high quality third person action adventure games. Uncharted, The Last of Us, Spider-Man, God of War, among others. They all sort of have the same sort of style. I'm not saying they're all the same game. I'm just saying they have sort of the same style and feel to them. They're all recognizable as Sony games. And I personally don't think ZeniMax's games match anywhere near the quality that Sony puts out for their games. So in my opinion, there is nothing that supports the idea of Sony acquiring ZeniMax. Not only would it not make sense in terms of the acquisition cost, it wouldn't make sense because of the bad rep that ZeniMax has right now, and it wouldn't make sense because it just does not fit in with Sony's style of games. Everything points in the direction of this post being absolute bullshit. So I just wanted to cover that here on the channel to just let you guys know for sure that Sony is not acquiring ZeniMax. And honestly, even though I think that would be a very good thing for ZeniMax and that would mean very good things for all of their IPs, that is unfortunately not going to happen. I'm sure you've already heard other people discuss this subject, so I would love to see what you guys have to say about it down in the comment section below. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to the Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Thank you.